Instagram to identify Anthony Evans because a nigga told him I murdered somebody. Then another nigga gonna say, them niggas ain't hot. A nigga told a nigga I murdered a nigga. The police came and got me and questioned me about it. And a nigga said that ain't hot. You niggas are picking sides. That's why I told y'all. I don't pick sides. I don't give a fuck if I'm cool with both parties. Fuck whoever. I don't pick no sides. Niggas be picking sides out here. It be a rack of pick side shit. I want all you niggas to know. I don't be with none of you niggas. I don't even be with you niggas. Like all that pick side shit. No fucking pick side. Nigga right is right and wrong is wrong. If a nigga tell the motherfucking police that Aunt Glizzy killed somebody. And the police go grab Aunt Glizzy and question him about killing somebody. You motherfuckers. That's hot. Fuck is you talking about because you know a nigga or you know something. You, that's hot. The fuck world you in? Fuck world y'all live in, nigga. If you say another nigga name and the police go grab that nigga, you hot. The fuck you talking about? Whoever. Stupid ass niggas. Y'all don't even know law. You niggas crackheads. I'm not listening to no nigga that don't got a hundred bands, that don't take care of their mother, that don't got their own house and their own car. That's what the fuck we doing. We let these niggas do don't got their own house, their own car, and money have voices around this motherfucker. You got to have your own house, your own car, your own, mo your own money around this motherfucker. It can't be no homeless nigga. Y'all giving these homeless ass niggas voices. Each these niggas out here with no money. Don't no nigga that talk on his phone got no money but Aunt Glizzy. Don't no nigga talk on his phone, guy. Y'all listen to these mental health ass niggas. These niggas can't even fix their own life. Tell them fix their own life. Get it right for themselves. None of these niggas can fix their own life. I run laps around these niggas. You feel me? Y'all keep listening to these mental health broke ass niggas. These niggas broke as shit. These niggas can't make it to $5,000. And y'all sitting out here listening to these niggas. I realize that. You niggas suffer from mental health. You niggas, you niggas talking about picking sides. It's no such thing as picking a side. It's no such thing. Hot is hot. Hot is hot. Hot is not. If a nigga say, Aunt Glizz, first of all, you saying a nigga name murder somebody, I don't give a fuck if you playing. I don't give a fuck if you not. You are in FBI federal court saying that another nigga murder. You ain't saying just it could be anybody. You said a Pacific name, Aunt Glizzy. Pacifically Aunt Glizzy. Not Aunt Glizzy brother, not Aunt Glizzy cousin, not Aunt Glizzy mother. Aunt Glizzy, pacifically him, nobody else. The fuck is you talking about? Nigga, that's, then the feds come grab me for that shit. And grab me. What if I'd had the dog on me when the police grabbed me? Now I got a gun charge. What if I'd had the dog on me when the police? Because I am beefing. So what if the police would have ran down on me? I had the dog on me. Like, come on, man. You niggas be moving the goalposts like shit. That's some hot ass shit. Fuck you talking about. So why the fuck did I not say a name? Fuck you talking about. Nigga said my name in open court. A nigga let his lawyer say my name. How the? Then he talking about some. He didn't say your name. The lawyer said your name. How the fuck do a nigga lawyer know my name? Do you not know in open court? I never seen a nigga. When y'all go to court, do y'all stand up and talk to the judge? No. Who talk for y'all? The lawyer. It's called representation. Why the fuck would you need representation if you're going to speak for yourself? It's called representation. That's what your lawyer is. You fake ass, you fake ass, uh, I know law ass niggas. It's called representation, nigga. He represents you because you can't fucking talk in no fucking courtroom, you fucking idiot. What the fuck if a nigga said, yeah, judge, such a, everything you say goes through your lawyer. Your lawyer. Your lawyer can't even say nothing that you didn't say. Your lawyer cannot say nothing without you telling him. He can't speak or say nothing that you don't know about. You can't even take a cop. Your lawyer bring you a cop. The, the judge going to ask you, did your lawyer make you take that cop? Did the feds make you take that cop? Did anybody make you talk, take that cop? Did you, or did you do that shit on your own? They going to ask you before you even put a cop in. Your lawyer can't even put your cop in for you. Your lawyer can't say my kind cop into this shit. They got to ask you, did anybody force you to do this? Did anybody? Nothing. That shit is on you. You niggas be lying because you niggas cool with them bitch ass niggas. I'm not cool with them bitch ass niggas. I'm not moving no goalposts. And I be stopped every day. You know that. Everybody the world know that. Niggas don't want no fucking trouble with me. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Nigga, I'm calling the bank. Shit go real with me. I'm calling the bank. Shit get real with me. I'm calling the bank. I don't know no niggas that can beat the bank. Fuck you talking about? You niggas be dick riding. I woke up today feeling like niggas be dick riding. I ain't on none of you niggas. I ain't with none of you niggas. You niggas be dick riding. I was thinking like, man, hold on. Niggas picking sides like shit. Nigga, hot is hot. A nigga just said a nigga murdered a nigga. What the fuck side y'all on? My mother, some hot ass shit. You gotta hit the button, Rocket. I only fear God. Leave that at that. <laughs> so nobody can feel no type of way. So whenever somebody asks y'all questions about me, just don't say nothing. Say, oh, that ain't my man. Just say that ain't my man. From now on, just scream out. Anybody ask anything about Ant, just be like, man, go ask Ant. That ain't my man. Because I don't know. I don't know what's up with none of these niggas. I can't vouch for nobody but kid. If it ain't kid, I can't vouch for nobody but kid. Cause I know when shit get ugly, 
We gonna ball out. Niggas be playing sides. I don't got no side. Ain't no side. I be my little brother. I be with YP. I be my little brothers. I hang with YP and kid. I be my little brother. And my oh, and my fat brother, Marco. It ain't no nigga in this motherfucking world that Marco gonna say, nah, A, hey, something, 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 I'm cool. Man, fuck them niggas. It's A or nobody. Fuck you talking about. Or my mother. It ain't gonna be one day, little bro, like, nah, bro, man, what the fuck out of here, nigga? We locked it. Ain't no switching up, nigga. It's the mob, nigga. We the fucking mob, nigga. Nothing bigger than the mob, nigga. Or my mother. And it's another thing. If a nigga ain't got six digits, if a nigga ain't got his own car, his own spot, his own motion, don't fucking talk to me. Because I realize all these niggas that been on live, every nigga that say Aunt Glizzy name in the last two weeks in this DMV, ain't none of them niggas got 10 bands. That shit is scurry. That shit sucks. Eon ain't got 10 bands. Mook ain't got 10 bands. Fucking uh, Big Psych ain't got none of their ass. No nigga. No bust the mood. None of their ass. None of their ass got no money. I swear to God, it's a bunch of broke ass niggas with opinions. Ask them niggas why they ain't living. Ask them niggas why they don't got them cars they want. Ask them niggas why they don't, they don't got shit. Just nigga, run your story. You ain't realize? Niggas walking around talking about Aunt Glizzy like they got something. None of these niggas got shit. All these niggas live with bitches. All these niggas live in bitches shit. All these niggas got kids. Their kids don't even have a home that they can live in. They can't even take their kids to their house. All these niggas live with bitches. All of them. Every nigga you see or lie live with a bitch. My mother. These niggas ain't even men they self. None of these niggas men. What grown ass man wake up don't you don't got a thousand dollars in America? What grown ass man don't got a house for his fucking child? What grown ass man don't pay the rent, pay bills with his son can come over there or daughter can come over there with them? What grown ass man, baby mother living in the ghetto? You still got your baby mother in the ghetto? You niggas goofy as shit. I real I have a clown on you. I let my nuts hang on all you niggas. Niggas can't fuck with me. You niggas broke as shit and you niggas can't talk no gangster shit, cause guess what? Y'all ain't that gangster. Niggas be thinking they gangsters until they run in the air and be calling you all type of bitch ass niggas and all type of this. You be like, damn, but I'm a killer. Go kill, nigga. Nobody give a fuck about what you about to say. Nigga, I can make a killer kill. Nigga, if you're a killer, go kill. Because I'm going to go on your ass so bad, you're going to have to shoot somebody. So don't fake like you're a killer because ain't nobody die yet. You bitch ass niggas. I ain't got no friends. I be by myself. So if y'all hear a nigga say he my friend, he lying. I'm, de I'm declaiming all you niggas. I ain't none of you niggas friends. I ain't got no friends. You niggas... Iffy as shit. Two sided ass niggas. My best friend died. A nigga told the police on me. And if y'all feel like anybody on that side still cool, them y'all man, fuck you. You niggas could die with him, I swear to God. On my mother. Fuck y'all. Nigga, my best friend died. And a nigga told on me. And you, motherfuckers out here talking about them they man. Well, guess what? Go hang with them niggas. Die with them niggas. Jump off a bridge with them niggas. Fuck you talking about. I ain't playing no both sides with none of you niggas. All you niggas. And I be wanting all the smoke with my mother, like, like a chimney. Because for $20,000, for $1,000 a day, there's no hood in Southeast that won't get bent. $1,000 a day, a nigga bend that motherfucker every day, like every day. To a thousand, bro. A thousand, a thousand, a thousand this shit out your block. I put your block on a poly. Ain't no both sides with no niggas out here. This shit too far in the game. This shit blood shit. Niggas talking about both sides. You niggas are weirdos. I don't fear nobody but God. So if any nigga ever say you scared because some niggas going to do something or you fear a nigga doing something or you care about what a nigga can do, stay the fuck away from me. I don't fear nobody but God. I don't be around niggas who fear niggas. Scared to die and all this, bro. Keep your scared ass. Go to church. Like, go play in a motherfucking church home or something. Go to a group home or something. Stay the fuck away from me. A scared nigga get me killed. Scared nigga, I lose it all fucking with a scared nigga. So if you, if nigga, you scared that a nigga shoot you or you scared that a nigga do something to you or you scared, like, stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> fuck. That's all I'm saying. At the DMV, we not doing no, no chatting to no to police. I know. I don't. The police, first of all, y'all so stupid. 
And that whole shit, the police didn't even know me. They had to go find me on social media. They found me on social media. They didn't find nobody else. Why the fuck is they looking for me, first of all? Because the nigga they saying I hot told the police I killed somebody. That's why they even looking for me. If that nigga wouldn't have told nobody I killed nobody, police ain't looking for me. You can't tell the police that somebody killed somebody and they don't investigate it. Imagine you telling the police, yeah, such and such kill somebody and they're not going to investigate it. they just going to play with it. Like, the police not going to listen to you, tell you. Go in the police office and tell somebody that somebody killed somebody and see do they investigate that shit. You think they just not going to investigate it. Like, a nigga just said, ain't Glizzy killed somebody and that's it. That's all, man. You niggas hot. You niggas are the police. Shut the fuck up. Fuck out of here. How the fuck can you say Aunt Glizzy murdered somebody you don't think that he got investigated for? Like, they just said, fucking no, Aunt Glizzy ain't murdered nobody. Yeah, come on, man. Niggas, niggas hot. Niggas are police. Niggas taking up for hot shit. That's what I realized this week. None of these niggas stand on law, young niggas. So, young niggas, if y'all want to be hot, y'all want to be gangsters, do whatever y'all want to do. Don't let these OT niggas talk that old murder shit. None of these niggas really know law. A nigga just told on me, a nigga told me that wasn't hot. The nigga saying that's not hot. A nigga put the FBI, he ain't put the police on me, he put the FBI on me, though, y'all. He ain't tell the police. He told the FBI. A nigga told the FBI this in federal court. And he ain't telling me, though. That ain't telling. That ain't nothing. Aunt Glizzy ain't nobody. Like, don't listen to none of these old-ass niggas. They don't have no money. They broke and shit. They stressing. Look at their face. Look at this. Look at their face. They stressing. They sweaty and shit. They don't got no money. They on some hot-ass shit. They ain't on nothing. Y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want to do. If y'all want to chill, y'all want to be gangster, y'all don't want to. Do whatever the fuck y'all want to do. Be free to y'all because they, they going to call y'all hot anyway. You going to be hot without being hot. I never told on nobody. Niggas out here trying to say I'm hot. So you might as well go ahead and just do whatever you want to do. These old niggas don't know how to read paperwork. They don't know nothing. If you get into it with somebody they know or somebody they cool with or they friend or something, they will switch that whole paperwork like it don't mean nothing. Paperwork is connected to friendships, not who true and not who false. Big Psych walking around with a fake ass packet, but niggas don't like Aunt Glizzy, so they not going to say the packet fake. Niggas walking around with shit that don't exist. Or, a nigga went to Martini's, drove 45 minutes, ain't show y'all. Told y'all last night he was putting the baby to sleep. Y'all don't figure this shit is weird. Y'all ain't even thinking in y'all head like, Mo, this is the weirdest shit ever. Why the fuck they keep playing with that paperwork? Y'all, it's because it's against Aunt Glizzy. But y'all don't know they doing real street shit. They, the real street niggas are on the internet playing about paperwork. The real street niggas y'all look up to. The drug kingpin gods. The, the niggas y'all look up to lying about a nigga paperwork because they don't know what to do. Like, when the fuck could street niggas... Start lying on niggas. Like, when the fuck did that start happening? The streets is over, bro. You niggas washed up. <laughs> fuck. Listening to these niggas, man. The streets are over. These niggas washed up. All these niggas in female houses. When you see Mook on live, he in a bitch house. That's a female house. When you see Yon on live, he's in a female house. When you see Skype on Skype on live, he's in a female house. When you see any these other niggas on live, they're in a female house. This is my shit. Them niggas ain't even men. They girlfriends can put them out at any time. And on my mother, none of these niggas really want to beat me. I can fuck all these niggas' girlfriends. Every bitch these niggas got, I can fuck. I swear to God. All they got to do is get into it. Whenever Big Sight get into it with his baby mother, she going to suck my dick. Whenever Eon get into it with that girl, she going to suck my dick. Whenever Mooka get into it with that girl, she going to suck my dick. They going to run straight to me. I swear to God. Them niggas got to be peaceful. They live in her house. Them niggas got to be peaceful forever. Because they going to remember it. They, they going to do something bad. Like, go fuck another bitch. Do something to make embarrass them. They going to embarrass you back. What's the embarrassment back? They going to be right over here with Aunt Lizzie sucking dick. You niggas setting y'all self up because y'all don't control y'all environment. You lame ass niggas. I can fuck all you niggas bitches. Oh my mother. All you niggas gotta do is one fuck up. Let her let them catch your ass cheating one time. They're gonna be right over here sucking this dick and I'm gonna put her right on camera. Fuck. I ain't nobody talking about you, girl. You lay down Wellington. I swear to God, I will never stick my dick in nothing in Wellington. I don't think nobody on here will fuck nobody from Wellington. Like all jokes aside, y'all, with anybody in, I don't think Big Sight, the own, I don't think niggas down Wellington fucking niggas down Wellington, though. Like, no funny. Ask the Wellington, ask the men. Like, go outside, ask the men. Be like, hey, man, like all jokes aside, y'all fucking Wellington, bitch. I don't think nobody fucking no Wellington, bitches. Like, all jokes aside, Big, Big Sight. Big Psych only fucked you because your brother was over to jail, right? Like, man, I got a sister out there, man. She needs some love out here, man. Niggas don't be fucking with her. He came home and fucked you. Your brother and them don't even know Big Psych. Whole time, you don't even know. Go answer the phone. Your brother and them just called out here. Your brother and them just called out here. They ain't trying to be in that shit for real. Y'all drawing them. 
Yeah, for real, for real. Your, your brother and them just called out and made a phone call, peace offering and shit. You back, I don't think you got the call. They ain't trying to be all in this shit. <laughs> they ain't trying to be all in this shit. Like, but niggas don't be fucking bitches from now, Wellison. Like, they, they met over the jail in the jail cell just talking about how they had a sister and Big Sight came home and got you pregnant, girl. He met your little brother in a jail cell and came home and fucked you and moved in. The fuck? I know the whole story. But no, nah, I don't even want to beef with you like all jokes aside. Let me pin this down. Like, on some real shit. Why do we got to beef? Like, I one thing I noticed about your family. Y'all just start beef. Your little brother woke up one day and just was some Aunt Lizzie shit. Your baby father woke up a day on some Aunt Lizzie shit. You woke up today on some Aunt Lizzie shit. Like, what can Aunt Lizzie do to get y'all to let y'all know y'all y'all got to do is leave me the fuck alone? I don't be bothering y'all. I never got up and thought about your brother. I never got up and thought about your baby father. I never got up and thought about you. Y'all keep fucking with me. Making me the problem. Like, y'all are really fucking with me. Like, oh, just like, I don't be fucking with y'all. I, I don't even know your brother. Never seen that boy a day in my life. I don't even know your baby father. Never seen that man a day in my life. How the fuck am I getting into it with street niggas and I be on the internet? Because they ass on the internet. I don't be getting into it with y'all. Stop lying. Like, stop. You're not even beefing for real. Y'all whipping up a fake beef. Like, y'all making up shit. Like, all just that. Do y'all not know GQ died in 2017, bro? Let that man rest in peace, bro. Y'all brothers and them got time and shit. Let them go to jail. Let that shit be over, though. Like, fuck y'all want to reopen the case? Y'all act like y'all want to reopen the case. I swear to God, like, fuck y'all trying to get some more evidence for an appeal or something? I don't know what the fuck y'all on. Like, this shit is over with. Like, really, like, I lost my best friend. I'm out the streets. Like, y'all won. Like, GQ died. Ain't no more sliding. Ain't nothing. Y'all won. Like, okay. I'm out the streets. Y'all won. Your baby father still come, like, still come out the blue, like, on some bullshit, then bring you back in it? Y'all tripping, man. Y'all bullying me. Y'all trying to bully me. Y'all really trying to bully me. But, look, this is the crazy part. I just want you to know this, though. I don't really want no trouble, though. Like, I don't want no trouble at all. Because, like, if I really wanted trouble, Oh, you know, I got enough money for this $1,000. I pay Wellison on a parlay. I swear to God, $1,000 a day. I make more than $1,000 a day. If I spend $1,000 a day with the young niggas, you don't think they'll spend Wellison every day. I swear to God, like, every day. I ain't even dissing Wellison. Let me tell you something about some Wellison niggas. I'm going to give them their credit. Wellison go hard as shit. Yeah, in Wellison. I never seen a Wellison nigga outside of Wellison. Do you not know they can't leave their hood? That's the only hood in D.C. on PC. You don't see Wellison niggas in other neighborhoods. You don't see a Wellison nigga at the mall. You don't see a Wellison nigga out to eat. They only hide in that hole. Like, that's your protective custody. You're my mother. You ain't never. Hey, y'all, we from D.C. Have you ever seen a Wellison Park nigga anywhere? Only nigga from Wellison lead that Jonas Pierre. I swear to God. Peter, only nigga that can lead that motherfucker. The rest of y'all, they be hiding like shit in that joke. Only nigga I see running around this motherfucking city is Pierre. He the only Wellison nigga that can lead that joke. Or my mother. The rest of them niggas, I ain't never seen a Wellington nigga nowhere. I only see them niggas down Wellington. I never seen a Wellington Park nigga nowhere in life. Like, nowhere. I don't even know where they be. Them niggas be high like shit down there in that parking lot. They feel safe as shit. Niggas realize I spent 20 years in the parking lot. Like, come on, man. Stop. Go outside. Go to a cookout or something. They don't even be a cookout. They don't link with other hoods or nothing. If they do link with another hood, it's the hood through the bushes. Like, the, the only hood they link with is the joke. They can go through the back cut through the bushes to go in there. They don't even leave Wellington. The only hood they link up with, they can go through the woods and get there. They don't even got to leave Wellington to get there. That's the only hood they link up with, the joke that's connected to their joke. I swear to God, my mama. They ain't going nowhere. Like, I ain't even, I'm just, I'm saying, they go hard, though. Don't get me wrong. They got some, listen to me. We not knocking that. Wellison had breeded some gangsters. I'm not taking a gangster from her. I'm just saying them niggas don't be nowhere, though. You act like Wellington be out in the streets. I ain't seen a nigga from Wellington outside Wellington Park since Pierre. Like, he the only nigga lead that motherfucker. Like, no bullshit. He our mascot. He the spokesperson for that motherfucker. He the only one leave. He the only one brush shoulders and network with motherfucker. I don't know nobody got Wellington Park man that can come to their neighborhood. Like, I ain't never seen a Wellington nigga in another neighborhood or nothing. Like, they don't even hang out. They don't go to cookouts or nothing. I'm just saying, I'm just being, I'm just being, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. Gangsta ass niggas though. I ain't gonna lie, them, they got some little gangsters down there. Don't get me wrong. They definitely breed some little gangsters. Don't get me wrong. They definitely do. Some little crash dummies. They got some little crash dummies. I'm not gonna lie. I can't take that from them. Got some little crash dummies. And I'm not gonna say they're a pushover. Like they're a sweet ass hood. They not a pushover. It's booby trap. They not a pushover. I'm not gonna give you that. But they don't go nowhere. If you think Aunt Glizzy don't be outside, I be outside more than everybody from Wellington. I swear to God, them niggas don't leave that pocket lot. I don't even know why they got cars down there. I'm like, why the fuck do a Wellington nigga drive? I never see these niggas.